Southampton have been relegated. The Saints will not go marching on, or if they do, they're marching all the way down to the championship. And in this video, I want to discuss what's gone wrong at Southampton. Now, in my lifetime, Southampton have been down in the championship. They've been down as low as League One. They've also been up in the Premier League. They've had good seasons, bad seasons, and in-between seasons. And they have had a host of ridiculously good players come through their academy or play for them, whether we're looking all the way back to Matt Letizier, Wayne Bridge, even recent times, you look at the fact that Premier League winners such as Virgil van Dijk, Sadio Mane, you know, um, the likes of Luke Shaw have played for Southampton. They had a team at one point that had Taddy, Graziano Pele, uh, Schneiderlin, Victor Wanyama, Rodriguez, such a host of names playing for that club that it is mad to think that Southampton have been relegated from the Premier League. And let's be honest, they went out with a whimper. They really did. I mean, I don't know if this is a stat. I'm just going to say this off the top of my head. It is absolutely tragic. But the only team I can remember them doing the double over this season is Chelsea. That's how bad it is for us right now, yeah? So what went wrong with Southampton? People, before we get into this video, I'm working very hard to bang out content for you lot. I'm getting a lot of messages and a lot of support, and I love that. But if you could please do me a massive favor, hit subscribe on this video. The vast majority of you guys that watch my video are not subscribed to the channel. So if you like the content I'm dropping, hit subscribe, and even better, hit the notification bell so that you get notifications every time I go live. But anyway... Back to the video. Southampton obviously had a takeover halfway through last season, and this was the new owner's first full season in charge. They spent 132 million in the transfer market. To put it into perspective, Manchester City only spent 125 million. And people could come for me in the comments and say, yes, but look at the infrastructure Man City had and that Southampton didn't have, and I completely understand and agree with that. But throwing money at something does not always solve the problems. Believe me, I'm a Chelsea fan. But there's one telling thing here. Out of the 14 permanent signings that Southampton made, do you know how many minutes of Premier League football those 14 players combined had made? I'll give you a lot of seconds to think about it. None. Not one single minute. Now, I understand that Man City might go and sign a Haaland, who, yes, has never played a minute of Premier League football, but that is an elite team buying an elite player. And at the moment, with the standard and the competitiveness of the Premier League, I don't believe that any club can go and sign 14 players that haven't played any Premier League football and expect it to be a success. Surely the owners were able to see that this could potentially be a disaster. And it has been a disaster. They started the season with Ralph Hassan Hootel, which, to be honest, I heard a lot of people singing his praises and saying he was in line for a big job after what he had done at Southampton before. I never really rated Hassan Hootel, and clearly the board didn't either, because by the time of the World Cup coming round, Southampton, second from bottom in the league, sack Ralph Hassan Hootel. Now, let's remember back to this time, pre-World Cup, you had the likes of Sean Dyche, Sam Aladici, Roy Hodgson, even Harry Redknapp had stated that he'd be willing to come out of retirement for the right opportunity and all these names I'm throwing at you now yeah not sexy names and I get that but names that have a track record of keeping teams in the Premier League however Southampton decided to go for Nathan Jones Nathan Jones was a very unproven manager and he did not do very well to combat that theory as he lost seven out of his eight games in charge and then was swiftly given the boot they then got in Ruben Sellers and like I just said to you before about recruiting players with no Premier League experience they recruited a manager with no managerial experience. Yeah, Ruben Sellers have managed under 18 teams and have been an assistant manager and a coach here and there, but he had never managed a professional football team, which ultimately means that before even the main running had really got into flow of the Premier League season, Southampton were relegated to the championship for the first time in 10 years. So what lies next for Southampton? I'm going to be honest with you. So far, we've seen Southampton go and Leicester are pretty much all but gone. By the time this video comes out, they probably are gone, unfortunately. I actually think out of Southampton, who have already gone, Leicester, who are close to going, and then the likes of Leeds, Everton, Southampton, who finished rock bottom of the league, probably have the best chance of coming back up. They have gone for an approach that has invested in a young squad. They've obviously bought in players that I don't see there being a massive fire sell, you know. There's the likes of Lavia, who's obviously a good player. James Ward-Prowse, that's an interesting one, you know. I think there's going to be a Declan Rice-sized hole in that West Ham midfield and I'm not comparing Declan Rice to James Ward-Prowse in the style of play but I do think that West Ham are a very physical team. I think that they'll win the Conference League and be playing Europa League football next year and I think that set pieces are massively important. Now, James Ward-Prowse has always been at South Hampton and people might say, nah, nah, he'll stay low and he'll stay with them. But the way I'm looking at it is this. James Ward-Prowse 
knows that he has been on the periphery of that England squad for a couple of years now. He hasn't quite made the cut. However, a lot can change in a day in football, a week, a month. And if we were to see maybe the likes of Calvin Phillips continue to massively dip in form or even get injured, a couple of our other central midfield players to get injured and there to be other noticeable absentees in that England squad in the summer going into Euro 2024, Gareth Southgate will be likely to turn to a player he has seen in the flesh, got to know and given minutes to in the past. And I do believe that this will be on James Ward-Prowse's mind. So I think that James Ward-Prowse, along with Lavia, will be noticeable departures. Now, listen, what do I know? One or two more are going to go. But for the most part, I see a lot of those players staying. And I think the likes of Che Adams, for example, could bang goals in the championship. The question for me would be, do they stick with Ruben Sellers? Just because he's not managed in the championship before, that doesn't mean that he can't bring Southampton straight back up. You look at clubs like Burnley, and Norwich in the past who have gone down and seem like yo-yo clubs nowadays will go down, come back up, go down, come back up. I just don't know whether Southampton's one of those clubs. If we look at the teams that have been relegated, bearing in mind there's been some big teams relegated this year and there will continue to be once that final spot is confirmed, surely one, maybe even two of those teams have got to come straight back up. And for me, Southampton would be my pick, but I would be very, very interested to know what you guys think. Who do you think is most likely to come straight back up from the championship? What do you think of Southampton's chances? Are Southampton a team that can go down and come immediately back up? Or do you see them staying in that championship or God forbid for Saints fans, even dropping further down? Let me know in the comments. I will be live in the comments. As soon as this video goes out, I'll be replying to every comment. So let me know your thoughts and I'll come back to all of you. I'll see you in the next video.